Hey guys, it's Booligan with Airsoft Retreat and BooliganAirsoft.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at one of my favorite custom guns that I put together. This is a 1022 replica based off of the KJW KCO2. Now you may recognize the KCO2, it's a gun I reviewed previously. However, it normally comes in this tactical stock with some M4 type furniture on it. Um, I'm a sucker for, you know, real wood and um, I was able to modify a real Ruger 1022 stock to fit the KJW really, really well. It's actually a pretty easy process, um, just requiring you to enlarge in the inner um, area inside the stock just a little bit, just enough to fit the uh, slightly larger KJW internals. Um, I actually will post a link in the uh, information section of this video that shows which areas I had to take out, how I had to enlarge it, so on and so forth. So about the gun, it is a gas blowback rifle. It uses a very small, detachable magazine, pretty similar to a real 1022 magazine. There are two versions available. There's one with the curved mag and one with the straight mag. It has a little bit better uh, ammo capacity. However, it is a gas blowback gun, so every time you fire, the bolt cycles, it has a bolt lock and since this is empty it will lock back but um, it also has a few nice features one of my favorite hop up adjusters is on this gun which is a weird thing to get excited about but this little rotary dial right here is a top adjustable hop up depending on the optic that you run on it you can I mean I could reach up while shooting and adjust it with my off thumb the front section of the rail is removable you just have to unscrew these pieces, unscrew that, lift it, and it comes right off so you don't have to have this extended top rail. The muzzle is 14 millimeter negative threaded. However, there is a little step down right here, so with most flash hiders, you'll have a small gap. That's why I'm keeping the bull barrel that came with it on there, because it looks awesome. The optic that I'm running on here is probably my favorite glass scope that I currently own. It is a Leapers 1 to 4 by 28 optic. It is amazing, especially for the price. It's got these big adjustable turrets. The thing that I like is that it is a true one time magnification optic. And it's a long eye relief optic as well. So, really, right now from this position, you can see I'm a, I'm a good distance away from this. I have a perfect field of view into the scope. And the ability to shoot this while keeping both eyes open, you can mount this on an AR, you can mount it forward like a scout rifle scope almost, but you can keep both eyes open and still have good magnification. You can zoom in with this large, easily adjusted dial up to four times magnification and still keep both eyes open for quick shots. It's a really nice scope. A little, little bit pricey when you can find it, but it's still, I want to say, under 100 bucks. I've got it mounted in a uh, LaRue SPR 1.5 type mount. It is not an actual LaRue mount because that would cost more than the optic, um, but it works really well for most guns that I've tested on. So all in all, I mean, this gun gives you really good performance. It's shooting about 435 feet per second, good flat trajectory out to about 165 feet, which is really good with, uh, you know, like Echo 1.28 gram views, which is kind of my long range testing ammo currently because I have a lot of it and it does a really good job. You're gonna have an issue with rapid fire cooldown. It's a gas blowback rifle, it's got a really small gas reservoir, so pace your shots. But it's not really a sniper rifle, it's not designed for that. I like to use it almost like a scout rifle, it's lightweight. If I take the glass off of it and I run like a small reflex sight, man, this thing comes in, I want to say under six pounds, even with the full wood stock. But it points and shoots so well because it's so light good short barrel on it that it makes an excellent scout rifle platform for a semi-automatic scout rifle. Um, you may have seen my bolt action scout rifle which we'll do a video on a little bit later um, but this is this is absolutely a skirmishable gun whether you put it in a wood stock whether you keep it in the, the tactical stock has all the accessories and the, the M4 style adjustable stock I mean you'll be happy with this gun it's it really is one of my favorites especially now that I've customized it a little bit so be sure to check out the full review of the gun and the optic uh, both on airsoft retreat and blue and airsoft.com and as always thanks for watching